My name's Joan Beatty and I'm a community dance artist. Um, I'd also been always been involved in dance from a young age, but was told go to university, get a degree and then go back to dance as a hobby. Um, and that was from someone who was a dance teacher. Um, and then so from there, I just always thought I'll do my school shows, do amateur dramatics, um, and that would be as much dance as that I would do. Um, and just through school as well, like it was always a creative side that I was involved in, things that were practical, that I was most interested in. So things like music, um, drama, P, dance, art. Um, so it was always a creative side of me, that that was where I had the gift to, to, to do stuff. Um, and so went to college, uni, did communication and media and loved it at college, but then decided once I got to uni, I don't want to be doing this, this isn't what I'd wanted to do. I worked with a guy um, who was studying dance, um, so at the weekends we'd be coming in, chatting about, oh, what are you doing? Um, and it has just sounded so much more fun and perfect, just exactly what I would love to be doing. Um, so that year I went for an audition and just to see what was happening and get in, um, so it just started from there. The best things about um, working as a freelance community dance artist is I get to be my own boss. Um, I get to do what I love, which is dance. I get to work with loads of different people, different ages, different personalities. So the classes are always changing, even though you could go into uh, uh, three classes, teach the exact same routine, but you know you're going to have different situations, different personalities, different groups. Um, and that's what keeps it fresh and interesting. You constantly have to be looking for work, whether that's contacting different dance companies, dance agencies, um, as well as checking uh, the jobs online, check and see if there's any work. Even if they're not even asking for anything, let them know that you're there. So sending emails, letters, CVs, to let people know what it is you do and who you are. Um, also, there's a lot of travelling involved with it being freelance. Um, it's good to be able to have a car and drive um, to get to these places. Um, I know a few people that do use tran public transport, but if you're going all over, it, it's hard work and it adds a lot more time onto your day travelling rather than um, actually doing the work. You might only be working two or three hours um, contact time with your, your client group, but you have to be prepping classes, organising classes, dealing with your accounts, all the rest of it. Um, so it, it does it does bring in a full day of work and you need to be prepared for that, even though you think it might only be, well, I'm only working a couple of hours, but you do need to prep everything beforehand. If you're in fifth and sixth year and you think to go into some sort of creative industry, um, in particular dance, I would say get to as many dance classes as you can. Um, there's a lot of free dance classes out there now through different companies because of funding. Um, so be open to, to different types of dance styles. If you're thinking of going to college, um, I would say try and get some basis in jazz, contemporary and ballet, even if it's just basic. When I was at college, I, hadn't, I had no idea what contemporary dance was until I turned up first day. Um, so as long as you're open to it, um, get prospectuses for different colleges, universities. There's loads of colleges now in, in Scotland alone that offer amazing dance courses. Um, so get to send, apply for every one and just see see which ones um, fit what you want to do as well because some might be more specific in terms of performance or teaching. So s think about what it is you genuinely want to do um, and just work hard and be ambitious.